Sturgeon Technologies here from New Haven, Connecticut to demonstrate a guide created for the Microsoft HoloLens 2 using the guides program from the Dynamics 365 suite offered by Microsoft. Here we're going to be performing uh, training and learning on this piece of equipment, which is a chinometer. And using the mixed reality guide and the headset allows me to be hands-free, use verbal cues or visual cues, which you'll notice in the center of our vision we have a white dot that is much like the cursor on a mouse and how I'll be navigating this guide. It should be noted that as I move around to operate this guide, the screen will follow me. So it's always in my field of view. I do have the option to pin this screen, which I am going to do. At this point, the screen will not move from this space until I unpin it. We're being asked to find the anchor and select confirm. So here we have a QR code we're going to use as an anchor point for this guide. We are going to confirm. It should be noted that if this piece of uh, paper, this anchor point, were to be put on the same exact piece of equipment anywhere in the world, this guide would be able to operate exactly as you're seeing now. Step one. This is a guide for the Recurt non-contact tonometry device. The device you will be working on with is shown to the left. So visual confirmation in this image that we are working on the correct piece of equipment. This can be a video as well. Step two, tonometry is a diagnostic test to measure the pressure inside of a patient's eye, which can help determine the risk of glaucoma. Getting some visual information here versus normal vision and glaucoma. This guide provides two paths for you to explore and learn. We can pick which path we want to learn. In this case, we have device components or device operation. I'm going to be selecting device operation. To measure the interocular pressure, IOP, with a non-contact tonometer, start by making sure the device is plugged in, then to press the on and demonstrate switches. Following the daisy chain here, we'll be able to see a mixed reality hand pointing exactly where we need to switch the on switch. We also have two arrows showing us exactly which buttons we need to operate. That step is done. Step two, we're going to adjust the eyepiece until the ring reticle is in focus. If you notice here, let me show in which way we can adjust. Excellent. You'll ask your patient to place their index finger about a half of an inch in front of the objective. Then you should explain that a puff of air is used to measure the pressure in their eye and that you're going to use their finger to demonstrate. Here we have another mixed reality hand showing me exactly where I would want to show the patient where that puff of air might come. Trigger the instrument to demonstrate the air pulse intensity on the patient's finger. As part of this process, the calibration of the instrument can also be checked. The digital read should be in the range of 49 to 51. So now we know that this button will produce the puff of air. We can go over here. This is where the puff of air is going to come out. And we want to be cognizant of this screen here which if this was an actual live operation should be between 49 and 51. For demonstration purposes, we're fine with 65. Now I can press that button. Excellent. Move to the side of the instrument so you can see the patient in profile. Explain to the patient that their forehead needs to rest on the pad shown. Moving to the side. Now we have a holographic representation of the patient's head. We should see where their gaze should be going, and we're going to have to alert them that we want their chin to rest on this cup here. Use the adjustment knob to adjust the chin rest for the patient so that they can rest their chin comfortably. Here I'm being directed to where the adjustment knob might be, so we know we need to take this and raise it to the level for the patient. Use the adjustment knob on the instrument head to move the objective vertically until it's at the same level as the patient's eyes. I'm being shown here that if I twist this knob, we should be able to raise this to the right level for this patient's eyes. Excellent. Use the joystick to carefully adjust the instrument head until it is no closer than one quarter of an inch from the patient's size that you'll be measuring. And take this joystick. 
and we will be moving Measure the patient's eye. Note the readout and, the re and then repeat this process to confirm the accurate measurement. You will then recalibrate and realign the device for the patient's other eye and repeat the process. And now we've uh, successfully completed this guide. We appreciate you tuning in. For your knowledge, any of the annotations that might have seemed slightly off during the guide are due to the recording process of the HoloLens 2. There are multiple cameras built into this headset. From the user's standpoint, with the headset on, everything lines up perfectly. But in order to record this demo, uh, they are using one of the cameras to capture those images. And that's why some things may seem slightly off. Thank you for joining.